This is a HeadGum Original. How's this for lighting for an ad? Whatever. You know my problem with edibles? You know, sometimes you get so high, it can be really difficult to dose it outright, to control how high you get, and there's nothing worse than being baked out of your mind when you didn't plan on it. And you know once you eat it, there's no going back. You just sit there suffering, stoned out of your mind. That's why when I need the perfect medium high, I hit up my friends at Diet Smoke for their delicious Delta 8 THC gummies. All right, Diet Smoke isn't light, it's just right. So what exactly is Delta 8? Delta 8 is a simply less potent THC, all right? The THC you're probably most familiar with is Delta 9. And while both are natural to the cannabis plant, Diet Smoke extracts their Delta 8 from hemp. Some may call this a loophole. I call it the secret recipe for getting a smooth, stable, and most importantly, legal high. Diet Smoke is legal in most states and it's non-prescription. Just check Diet Smoke's website to see if they ship their delicious gummies to your state. Now you're probably asking yourself, does Diet Smoke really get you high? Of course! The high you get with Diet Smoke is best described as somewhere between the chillness of CBD and that classic stone feeling you get with regular weed. Plus, Diet Smoke comes in two delicious flavors, blue raspberry and watermelon. Try them both, I don't care. So when CBD isn't enough for you, and traditional THC is too much, enjoy the smooth buzz of Diet Smoke. All right, each gummy is infused with 10 milligrams of Delta-8 THC derived from American-grown hemp. And you know what they say, buy American, get high with American. Delta-8 gummies are low in sugar, fat-free, and delicious. And did I mention they're legal? Yeah. So go to dietsmoke.com and use promo code, what's that? For 20% off your order. And as a special offer, Diet Smoke's coupon code can be used on every order. All right, none of this only your first order shit. Diet Smoke, all right? Dot com. Promo code, what's that? For 20% off. Diet Smoke's Delta 8 THC gummies are not for sale or use to people under 21. Please use responsibly. Christ! <laughs> Don't ever cross me. What's that? Don't ever cross me. Because if you cross me, then you'll have a cross to bear, <laughs> which is also me. I'll be on your back like the wood was on Christ. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll make your life <laughs> I understand. a living shell of its former self. Your house will be... <laughs> Haunted. Your clothes will be threadbare. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Yeah. It's good to be back. Yes. Yes, it's good to be back I in studio. I feel like there's no point in me being here already. The energy's mm. great. The energy's yeah. hot. What's that? It's tough to be the third person who's not in the Zoom slash room. Well, it's yeah. hard to be a third because, you know, you never know, like, especially if we start arguing, she feels like, oh, she shouldn't be here, but she doesn't, like, how much of it is her responsibility and not honestly none of it because we're making the decision to bring Marika in to mm, the fold. You know what I mean? If we were a family, would you say, like, we're three siblings? Am I, like, the uncle and then you two are sort of brother and sister? Like, what's You're the You're our dad for sure. I think racially... She and I would be brother and sister, and you'd be the uncle. Yeah, and I sort of married into a wacky fam. Yeah. Oh, I no, I think I think you're you're too. You didn't marry into a wacky family because mm, you um, yourself are too wacky. I see. So I had children, and you're the children, or you're yeah, like. Yeah, I the, think you're our dad. Oh wow, that's very related. Okay, and so. you had children, <laughs> but then I I I. Fear to think what the mom could be that create you and Jeffrey <laughs> at the same damn time. <laughs> I think we like have adapted too much of your personality. I see. So I being have to have around been in the you picture. too often, and right. that's why I think yeah, you had to have around. grown with me and to groan with me. Are you not hearing me? I can hear you. I just don't want to. Yeah. I don't like that you say things, so I'm trying to like power through and focus on Marika. <laughs> this isn't how I wanted this to go already. I but think I that's a like good that, family dynamic. 
family. Yeah, let's talk about family for a second. Do family, I feel like family, the whole thing with family is that uh, they have each other's backs. Mm. And uh, hasn't always been the case. Yeah. Well, you're an ad- of adult age, so at a certain point you sort of have to stand up for yourself. Right, and I did, and that's why we're here. Um, Marika, I don't know if you know this, but they actually did performance reviews of you specifically uh, last, I think it what was it, June? When? Last, I think it was last summer. And I didn't have your back either, so payback, I guess. There's um, no way you submitted a performance review of me. I said she doesn't always make things the way I would have her make things in my head. This podcast is pretty much the only example. You don't bring <laughs> to the table the energy that I ideally would like to have to feel, to see. To what, what energy do you think I should have? Are you hearing this? Yeah, it sounds fine. You're the I'm, weird one. I'm asking for <laughs> constructive <laughs> criticism. I don't know. I something some kind of pizzazz, some kind of uh, je ne sais quoi. You know where people don't understand. Oh, like, oh, sorry. Are you in therapy? This feels Are you at right home? a Kinda. little bit. It doesn't feel good at all. It actually does feel nice. You don't actually, even look I'm comfortable. Because take... I'm not yet. Yeah. I'm not comfortable yet. <laughs> then get comfortable. <laughs> Taking my shoes off. Ew. Jesus. <laughs> uh, you have the worst ankles I've ever seen, and that's coming from me. <laughs> you do have skankles. Skinny ankles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm thankful for my thankles. This is nice, actually. Uh, we've got producer Casey here as well. Casey, what are your ankles like? Um, regular, yeah. regular style ankles. That's, that's what good. you want. Yeah, you don't want thankles. You don't want cankles. I don't have. I don't think. I think mine are pretty regular. Too, yours actually. are fine. Yeah. Yeah, yours are fine. Thank Marika, you. let's see your ankles. <laughs> oh, I'm you not. don't have to show your. Feet. No, it's fine. <laughs> Definitely on not. Camera. I'm barefoot. I will say, the problem with my ankles, a uh, recent a recent problem is that I got a bunch of bug bites, kind of like in a row on my ankles, and so now I've got some scars to deal with, but. Whoa. Otherwise, they're normal. He gotcha. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess. He gotcha. You guys, you guys have like kind of similar socks, but truly the angle that I'm <laughs> seeing Jeff's feet, it's like his is half the size of a mirror's. Yeah. <laughs> we do have the inverse so socks. So thin. <laughs> Imagine an ankle so thin it can hardly... And it, you're also a... a more barrel chested so you're very like do you find yourself <laughs> off balance <laughs> of course but like that has to that has to weigh into the calculus of how you move around because you're sort of so top heavy it's you know how um there was like a meme for a while during the the height of the avengers movies that chris evans body was shaped like a dorito jeff oh. is like a dorito on a stick <laughs> <laughs> I'm he's a, a Y. He's a cake pop. <laughs> cake pop's more accurate. <laughs> Not a K pop, but a cake pop. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Have you ever sprained your ankle, Jeff? That was easy. Uh, I've never sprained my ankle. I've never sprained my thankle. I've never <laughs> broken a bone really? or been thrown one. What I have done is torn my pectoral muscle. Oh, wow. That sounds very painful. Awful. Yeah. How? Climbing. Oh, my God. Put me out of commission, not only in the gym, but also sexually for the better <laughs> part of 18 months. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet it probably healed faster than that. And you were I sort was of involuntarily <laughs> celibate for those months and afterwards. Right. <laughs> I think um, there must have been a level of voluntary. <laughs> I'm a vol cell. Voluntarily <laughs> celibate. Um, I had a, I had a, an Instagram bio pitch that I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on. Born to be a drunkle. No. You, you, drunkle's you know another, what? drunkle this is another is one of up. your crutches. What? I'm just trying to help you. Born to be drunkle. <laughs> that I like. What? You like that? Yeah, because it's yeah. sort of like Crazy. a born, born to be drunkle is better than born to be a drunkle. Let's talk about um, 
sex, baby. No, let's talk. Oh my god, that's not it. <laughs> Self on of the week. I don't. There's no song, Casey. There's no. There's no jingle. There's no parody. It's my pick is Jetty Osman. Why? What do you mean, why? <laughs> He's a Turkish <laughs> basketball player. He's unbelievably handsome. His jaw could cut not only glass, but also tension. Mm, I yeah. see. It would be cool to have an athlete bond. What about Tom Cruise? Because he's sort of a cool Mission Impossible guy. He can transition into bond as he grays. What about Mission Impossible? So it's about a restaurant being like, honestly, we're not that far off. <laughs> Casey, Casey loved it, unfortunately. I did like that. I did like that one. <laughs> Michelle Impossible. That's actually pretty good. That's better than Born to be a Drunkle. <laughs> Michelle Impossible. Uh, Marika, who's your Bond of the fucking week? Sorry for my... I don't mean to cuss. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I wasn't prepared. I am wearing a, a Mads Mickelson shirt, though. For mm. all the Casino Royale fans out there. Yeah. He's the, the villain. Um, so not he can't be Bond. Um, or can he? A full transition? I don't it'd be kind that. of. I mean, he... I think he dies. I don't remember. Spoiler. But <laughs> you can't say spoiler alert for every Bond movie just because you don't know the information And also the bad guy dying James is Bond. not a spoiler. <laughs> Are you, I love James Bond. I've seen all of them. Why? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> when I have hobbies, you guys tear them down. When I have a lack of cultural knowledge, you also tear me down. So I, I, I might as well just do nothing, right? So what I do is I follow my heart, cheese style. Are you mm. Mads, bro? And then it's a picture of Mads Mickelson. He's is ignoring that, me. Is that your t shirt? This, like shirt, so this shirt's from Super Yaki, by the way, and they have a lot of they have a lot of good Mads shirts right now. I got a shirt, Marika, that you would actually like. I should have worn it today. Uh it's a Prank Sinatra shirt. Uh so it's uh Lamorne Morris from mm -hmm. uh, as Winston and New Girl, but doing like the Frank Sinatra uh <laughs> mugshot. And it just that's says good. Frank Sinatra. That is that's fun. I do like that. Uh I guess my bond of the week is I just saw a picture of Ryan Gosling, so I'm gonna go Ryan Gosling. Damn, Daniel. I said Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Casey, who's your bond of the week? He's looking it uh, up. Sorry, hold on. I'm uh, texting. <laughs> Holy shit! He's Holy texting shit. Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> he wants to get his insight. He's part of the committee. <laughs> um. How about uh, Timothy Chalamet? And it could be like a young James Bond. Oh, that's that wouldn't be bad. Cool. It could it could be like that. young Sheldon, but young James. No, fuck. What young do you mean? Sheldon. Whoa, fuck young Sheldon. What do that's you? That's my stance. <laughs> <laughs> Marika's a huge Big Bang stan, and she thinks that it's not canon to have young Sheldon also there. She's a Bing Bang. Th no, fuck. I want it on record that that. That kid was like a big theater, is still a big theater influencer. And one time I saw him tap dancing on the sidewalk and that just ruins tap shoes. So I'm, I have a vendetta against him. You have a vendetta against an, what, 12 year old Child, because he probably. was tap doing what he likes yeah. on the sidewalk? Yeah. yeah. And now you hate the entire show? Yeah. Thousands of people work on it. They're because fine. It's, a huge it's just this kid. Union workers, woodworkers, they're all great. Engineers, they're employees. all great. Yeah, Thousands I don't have people. to. I don't have to like, or I don't have to like, not like a show and not like everyone that works on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> They started throwing the That's, entire ecosystem. Don't throw me under the bus saying I don't like union sentence. workers. I don't yeah. have to not like everyone on a show to not like the show. Yeah. It computes. She mm. just doesn't like the titular yeah. actor. I don't like the titular young Sheldon. Yeah. Um, sorry, we haven't had a major key alert in a, sec in a, in a minute. <laughs> um, I don't have anything, but let's see what we come up with as this plays. Major key alert. Don't forget to bond with those, speaking of, bond with those closest to you. You have to make time for people that you maybe feel like you can put on the back burner. Like, I would say that Amir is one of my closest friends in the world. Why? But we haven't hung out in a while. We never hang out. And I feel like you you're putting me. You went on me. a trip with him. 
Yeah, but it's like a, I was like a group. I was a company hang. It wasn't a, we never hang out one on I would have loved to be wherever you and Avital were on that roof. What? On the <laughs> Posted roof? Posted a photo of you guys on a roof. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That was one of her friend's graduation parties. You would graduation? obviously not be invited. 22-year-old? No, it wasn't a college graduation. Asshole. Don't look at me like that. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Will you talk to your brother? <laughs> He's obviously <laughs> acting out. He's hangry, crankery, or both. What's crankery? It's cranky and hangry. That's redundant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's talk about dating in L.A. for a second. <laughs> you always talk about <laughs> dating in L.A. If None of us are dating else, in L.A. We're in the wax period, all right? I have a long segment planned after this, but you know what? I'd like to th talk about Casey's dating life. Fine. Casey, as much as you're comfortable sharing it, what is dating in L.A. like for you? Um, uh, <laughs> I went on a date like three months ago. There you have it. So you're in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call her now and let her know. Let's call her now slash daddy. <laughs> um, was, was, you didn't hit it off? Uh, no, we didn't hit it off. Okay. Um, was she rich, famous? <laughs> Jesus, man. What? Private questions layered on top of private questions. The only reason to date in Los Angeles is to social climb. And I'm very open and honest about that because why else would I not be single? Why else would I not be able to do exactly what I want, when I want, how I want, and where I want? Why else would you not be single? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you mean you are single? I am single. So why else would you not be? I'm, no, I'm saying why would I want to not be single? Unless it was just basically climb up the ladder. Like, I want to rub elbows, elbows with, like, um, I don't know, fucking Maisie Peters. Rub elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Not a typo. I actually do want to rub my elbows. That's elbow pebbles. <laughs> my fruity pebbles. <laughs> So I'll hang out with famous people, right? And they'll like sort of make me plank on pebbles. Yeah. And then when I stand up, there's still pebbles on my elbows. And I'll want to be like, Mr. Keery, yeah. please, sir. Is that uh, Joe Keery? No way Joe Keery hangs out with you. Joe? <laughs> A different Keery? A Keery It wasn't Kurosawa. Joe Keery. <laughs> 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 well, oh. They'll make me plank on pebbles, and when I get up, there's still pebbles on my elbows. What a specific Such a long feeling walk. <laughs> to justify your pebbles. That was easy. That was Thanks. easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what about you? You're not even married. You're just dating. So, so you're just God. you're just seeing each other. You're like going steady. <laughs> no, we live together. What do you mean I'm not even married as if it's like that's the bar? If so, you're in the hospital, she can't be in the room with you. Yeah, she, I'm sure she can. I mean, I'm allowed one visitor. It doesn't matter if our marital status, I don't think. Okay, but if she had the choice to pull the plug, which obviously she would want, yeah. she can't make that choice. You're saying if I'm on life support and I'm in a coma? <laughs> if you're in hospice... She can't make the call. What? Like if something terrible happened to me or like when, when I'm like 94 years old or something. As an old man? Will you still feed me when I'm 42? <laughs> I'm almost 42. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think your most attractive era will be physically? Because mm. a lot of people were saying on the HeadGum. But first of all, HeadGum sketches are back. Uh, YouTube.com slash HeadGum. If you're watching this video, you can also click on this channel. Um, people were saying that you look great. Oh, really? I didn't see any of those comments. Yeah. I saw some that said we look older. I didn't see anyone <laughs> that said anyone specifically looked great. There were some compliments about Riley's jumpsuit, I should say. Yeah. I feel like, but it, you know, you specifically, I think, latch on to like minor criticisms instead of like seeing the praise that's maybe on the table. Mm. No, um, I pretty much searched for praise with a fine tooth comb and I didn't find any. Is this on TikTok or YouTube you saw? This is going to be on YouTube mm, or something.
Okay, I'll go back and look at that. I think my peak attractiveness was my mid 30s, like when I was 35 to 37. When? Uh, <laughs> like in our our old office, like um, pre LASIK, um, post moving to LA. So do you I mean, regret do our opinions? LASIK? I feel like we should weigh in. I don't regret LASIK because it's much more convenient. But I think I looked more handsome with glasses. But I like not needing them. Like I can always just put on fake glasses. Yeah. Which I did in our video. It's true. Yeah. I th I think you I think you're peaking. Wow. Thank you. I needed to hear that. And if you can find that YouTube comment, please send it to me. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Casey, when was was or is going to be? your peak attractiveness or is it now do you feel i've only known you for like three months so i can't weigh in when were you high key the zaddiest uh i was probably high key zaddy uh <laughs> 2017 oh wow similar to me i guess um, four or five years ago yeah but then you know uh, i feel like you know covid mm, yeah has uh taken a toll i'm trying to get back to my zaddy days yeah i think you're zaddy it's now. admirable wow thanks marika same question, right? Um, I have low self-esteem, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I've hit my peak yet. That's really good. It's optimistic. That's actually high self-esteem if you think about it. Yeah. The best is yet to come style. No, because I just don't, I think badly of myself at current and past moments wow when, uh, when i made that call for people to sort of bed and or wed you on this uh -huh. show like a couple months ago yeah you should there were a lot that. of people that were like i want to i'm sorry but fuck marika <laughs> yeah. jesus christ i think they just said fuck marika like they were angry yeah at her, but that's what i read when no I, went through I just heard the last income. two words of the sentence there were like mm -hmm. two people that had an elaborate date planned for you oh that could be exciting would you, um, Marika, would you ever date a HeadGum podcast fan? Uh, I feel like I would have to depend on the person. And I'd also just be always slightly concerned. Right. Like, would you say that's about a, why a, they listen to it? Or I should say, is it a check for or against if someone's like, I'm a huge HeadGum podcast fan? Uh, I, I think it's pretty neutral. I don't think it's like a, the a deciding factor that's way I mean? that's worse than negative because it's like it's the thing of hey man what's your problem with me you don't like me i don't think about you yeah i don't think about you at all right what do you, <laughs> so what you'd do you rather mean? you'd rather someone have a strong opinion against than no opinion i'd rather marika be turned off by the fact that they listen to the show rather than be like it, do, it doesn't affect it at all yeah it should at least affect the decision i don't think it should Wow. I, well, I, I guess the, the thing about it is like so many of us internally as a company listen to it because it's like hearing what each other have to say. So I feel like in that way, there's like some level of like, it's okay too, <laughs> but also I would probably like not if I didn't work here. <laughs> but do you listen to the episodes you're not on? Sometimes, yeah. I've there fallen behind. I think we should do like a revolving door of like a sexual deep dive of everyone at the company. But I don't think so. I don't I think, think we that's should, a little too, right? Yeah, that's probably yeah, illegal. Not. And know, I, I shouldn't be in on the episodes when that happens. You know exit interviews? Well, this is a Brexit interview. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on the whole situation over there? Um, we can talk about it. I recognize that on its face, it seems yeah, like an illegal. HR violation, yep. but... Wait, I don't know. What, what's your answer to the question? Do you think you've peaked, you haven't peaked yet, or you had a heyday and it's already over? I had a heyday in 2017. Really? But uh, right now I'm in the best shape I've been in since high school. Oh. And... Is that why you posted a topless photo of yourself to Instagram? Sort of a low-key I mean, you gotta. Low you put the time and energy, you gotta do something with it. But yeah. um, I, think, I, I think I'm go about to enter a stage of peaking. Really? And I hope that I can hang on to it because, oh my God, peaking is fleeting and, uh, you know, no one's ever happy. So, major key alert. I'm sorry? Major I said key major alert. Major key alert. <laughs> it actually is kind of hard to peaking hear. Peaking is fleeting. <laughs> peaking is fleeting. 
and vice versa. <laughs> and we do have to take a peating. quick break. But before we do that, I'd like to mention that I ran into Phineas the other day. Uh, who? Cool. Guys, our next partner has a product that I use literally every day. All right, we're talking Athletic Greens. This stuff (laughs) makes me feel energized. I obviously have a lot of sleep issues. Last night I only got five hours. Um, But I started my day off right with a a delicious scoop of Athletic Greens' AG1, all right? It has everything I need. So what is this stuff? Well, with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All the things, right? I wake up. I have water. All right? I got to bed. Well, I, w- I wake up, get out of bed, drag a comb across my ass, and then I have AG1, all right? It benefits my energy. Uh, I feel just kind of more in tune with my body, uh, and it tastes great. I've said this before. I think it tastes kind of like tropical. Um... Micah disagrees with me, but that's how I feel about it. Uh, This stuff is lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, it's all for you. It contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. And it also, again, yes, supports better sleep quality and recovery, as well as mental clarity and alertness, which they don't say this, but if you're recovering from COVID, give it a shot. It's helped me with some brain fog. Um, Oh, here's my foster cat. Okay, Ellie. (laughs) Um, it's the one thing with the best things. Athletic Greens uses the best of the best products based on the latest science with constant product iterations and third-party testing, and it costs less than $3 a day, but you're investing in your health, and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. It's also cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself, and you're investing in an all-in-one nutritional insurance. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. All right? It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out your for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. I'm about to go to Michigan. I'm taking my Athletic Greens. Uh, and all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And we're back. Welcome to a segment that I like to call Vague 73 Questions. Sorry, who did you run into? Phineas O'Connor. Billy Eilish. You hit brother? it off? We didn't talk. So you don't we, run into We brushed Ebbles. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. This is, you guys know Vogue's 73 Questions videos? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this is vague 73 <laughs> questions. Okay. Great. Wait, I think I'm going to sit up. Yeah. I think, I think you should I think up. you should pr- like keep sliding down until you're like off well, the, the couch. Problem is I can't really. Show. Oh, this is actually more comfortable you're right. <laughs> So, but how is uh, this for the framing though, Casey? Like, can you still see me? I can. Yeah, I could see you. Turn the mic is... towards your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is actually one of the more interesting shots I've seen in the studio. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um so Vogue 73 questions, they ask pretty basic questions, but it's just high-powered celebrities, so people find it interesting. Uh, this is going to be, because none of us are high-powered celebrities, um, Ouch. they're just going to be a little bit vaguer. That, yeah, that hurt to hear. Um, here we go. I am verified on... No, you're not high-powered. No, yeah. no, I guess not. You can be famous without having, possessing any power. Thanks. Because even in terms of like podcast no, content right. creation, it's I mostly Katie famous. making the calls. Appreciated it. Needed to hear it, especially today. It wasn't nice. We were being mean. Um, what's your, the favorite? Sorry. What's the movie you watch when you're feeling sad or happy? <laughs> <laughs> are so we you all? Watch this movie. Are we yeah, all? Let's start, we'll go. These? Marika, Casey, Amir. Okay. Uh, movie I watch when I'm feeling sad or happy is probably Starter for Ten. Mm. I knew James it would McAvoy. be a movie I've never fucking heard of. Hey, you, <laughs> what is that? You're supposed to be relaxed. You're right. laying on the couch. Right. This is supposed to make you calm. About right. quiz shows in England and going to college. It's good. <laughs> Benedict <laughs> Cumberbatch, awful. James McAvoy, Alice Eve, Dominic Cooper, James Corden, Rebecca Hall, all in it. It's a great <laughs> time. All not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Donahue? 
Um, You're a film buff. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably say The Quick and the Dead, Sam Raimi. Wow. Mm. Uh, I just, just getting over COVID, and I watched <laughs> a bunch of my favorite, you know, you know, when you're sick, you watch movies that you like. Yeah. And that was one of the ones where I was like, it's time to watch The Quick and the Dead. I was in a play in my freshman year of high school with Sam Raimi's niece. <laughs> Raimi, Raimi. So how sick is that? Is her last name Raimi? No. Mm. Who niece. cares? <laughs> Who cares? Fine. I'm your favorite movie. It doesn't matter. Uh, white men can't jump. All right, what about movie. favorite news in the last five years? Mm. <laughs> Let's do some, some quicker favorite answers because we do have 72 news in left. the last five years. Yes! The vaccine oh was pretty cool when they yeah. released that. That was exciting. The vaccine was cool. I thought uh, when Trump got COVID, everyone was having a yes. real good time. Oh, All right, yeah. I changed my answer to when Trump got COVID for sure. Mm-hmm. It would have been nice to see him perish, <laughs> Steve or otherwise. Uh, favorite Marvel? Sorry? Favorite Marvel? Favorite oh, Marvel? Marble. <laughs> <laughs> favorite Ebel? <laughs> Let's skip that one. Forget it. Iron Man. Far Iron from Man, home. Iron Man, nice. Amir? Wait, what'd you say? She said Iron Man. No, but I thought you were going to change the question. I don't like favorite the Marvel, Marvel slash marble. Uh, there's this marble I have that was pretty sick growing up. It had this like red, little, almost like a crack in it, but it was baked into the DNA of the marble. And Why would kind... you die? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about, Amir. Those are cool. Thank you. Thor Ragnar marble. <laughs> <laughs> Casey. Um. Uh. I'm blanking on the name. What's it called? With the uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. yeah. I just said that. <laughs> no, you said Thor Ragnar Marble. Yeah, yeah I think but that threw that. me off. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't even possibly think of the name after that. All right, what about a book you got? What about a book I got? I have uh, the play Small Engine Repair on my desk right now. Nice. Casey? Uh... Cathedral by Raymond Carver, a collection of short stories. Ooh. I feel like I also have that book, but just haven't read it because I'm dumb. <laughs> Amir? I've been trying to read one book a month this year. Wow. That's it. <laughs> the four I've read so far are The Choice by Edith Eager. That's my pick. Number mm. two was The Honest Book. By Mirin Fader, also very good. <laughs> Number two was uh, right, the biggest bluff. Okay, I we think. need to be it's faster like with these. Book. In the videos, it's like question, answer, question, answer. Well, oh, yeah, you're was making the, a meal out of all of them. The Bob Odenkirk memoir he just wrote was kind of interesting. If you're like a comedy fan, uh, it's funny that he wrote an autobiography just in the middle of his career. Uh, nice. but that was kind of interesting. And currently <laughs> reading Boomtown, though I'm not too deep into it. So, yeah. So far, I'll say the choice. Kind of, you know, despite being about a Holocaust survival story. When you were like very 10, opti yeah, did you optimistic. realize, oh, I'm going to grow up to be shit? Or did you think that you <laughs> Is this the awesome? next vague question? So let's start with Marika. Or are you asking it uh, as a follow up? This yeah, I, did, you I didn't think I was going to grow up to be like shit. This is the next vague 73 <laughs> question. A class you took in high school that you don't remember taking? <laughs> <laughs> so we can't answer this question. You can pass oh, no, any I, of these, I, by the I way. I literally, I think mine is like uh, United, like, or not, oh my god, American history. Like, I just don't remember taking U.S. history at all. I don't know okay. if I did. Interesting. That's yeah. pretty good. Casey Amir? Uh, I took forensic science, but uh, oh my god. I don't remember any of it. Mm. Uh, I took chemistry, but it was senior year, so at a certain point, 
it was like a new teacher who was almost our age and he sort of let us just get away with stuff. So I didn't really learn or. All right, we got to go faster. Here we yeah. go. Favorite TV show that never was. Go. Oh my what? God. <laughs> uh, the show that um, Chris Mintz Plus and Nicholas Braun were supposed to star in. Uh, I think it was called like Friend Me or something, and it never went to air because I think the um, the writer uh, died. Mm. He was a writer die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's stop going in order. Just shout out like a quick answer if you have one. My writer die. Uh, Ralph, the sequel to Alf about a, a radio alien life form. I thought that was Rafe. No, you're thinking of Rafe. <laughs> <laughs> Name. Uh, also, uh, uh, Ralph. Yeah. Interesting. On a scale of 1 to 40, how are you feeling about life right now? Ooh. My life or just life on Earth? Uh, your life. Mm, my life is like in the mid-20s, but life on Earth probably in the single digits at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16 for my life, um, single digits for just in general. Uh, 28 for oh, my good. life. That's good. And, uh, uh three for <laughs> everything else. We're all sort of cynical and pessimistic. Favorite what, iPhone Wait, what call? about you, Jeff? Me? Probably 30. Oh, that's good. That's good. Favorite iPhone call? And then what about for in general society? <laughs> in general iPhone society, Earth? five, yeah. Yeah, low. Favorite iPhone call? iPhone I call? Favorite iPhone call? Is it that you can't hear me or you don't understand? It doesn't make sense. Like the what is the phone? last word that you said? Call. C-A-L-L. -L. Okay, call so me, like, beat me if you want to. So like the ringtone? A ringtone? Uh, they're vague. You can interpret them as oh any God. way you want. Favorite so, I like the call. one that's like dun 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 da 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 dun. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thanks. I think <laughs> you're peaking, Marika. Like, like for audio, physically, or? Or? no, just yeah. like I'm sure so, a lot of people are gonna see you singing that ringtone and find it charming. <laughs> well, interesting. Slash, I don't know if, if not charming, peaking. overtly sexual. <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> Least social media? Snapchat. Uh, okay. No, that's pretty social. You're texting people. What's something that like doesn't even leave your uh, phone? The so newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. What about the notes app? It starts Don't and ends. Don't say anything after Casey said the, a joke. Do you remember the like, list app? It's not going to be funny. DJ like, We have to move on app. when people hit the peak. Uh, who shouldn't everyone know? So you're just going to ignore Marika's question. <laughs> Again, Casey, like, these are kind of like, it's a structure to play within, and then it's like, whoever has the funniest joke, okay, we end it there and move on. Okay. Who shouldn't everyone know? You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my savage garden. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked him. <laughs> Mercy kill. Do you have an audio thing that goes finish him, like from Mortal Kombat? How did you not get that set up? <laughs> finish him. Oh, nice. <laughs> he said it so fast. <laughs> he wasn't even done. I'll say Sam Raimi's <laughs> niece. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what food do you hate to not have? Mm. Um, Ma mashed potatoes. Bubbly drinks. Mm. Probably french fries. Yeah, I was going to say fries. Fries are it's good. It's also high up there. Favorite drink to eat? <laughs> milkshake. Bubble yeah. tea. Milkshake. There's kind of only one right answer there. No, bubble, bubble tea. tea. Oh, bubble tea's good. Yeah. Favorite dessert time thing? <laughs> so favorite dessert? No. Well, it could if you it, it could if be. your favorite dessert time thing is the dessert, then yeah, it could be the dessert. But it could also be a digestif. It could be maybe you're, you know, dirty talking with your partner and saying, "Oh, like I'm going to have you for dessert." 
Um, I've never had sex. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. Cookies. <laughs> Cookies are good, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have you for dessert. <laughs> and now you want us to just say flan after that. How, how can we? Uh, vanilla or other? I'll say vanilla. vanilla. Yeah, yeah vanilla's vanilla. very good. Me too. Vanilla gets a bad rap. Coffee, tea, or wax? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that hurt to hear. <laughs> I like coffee. Maybe you disagree. <laughs> yeah. I'll go coffee. I like coffee because you got the ice cream component. You can have coffee ice cream. The green tea ice cream is not not it, fam. But what about wax? Wax like uh, candles? Yeah. You know they call unopened card boxes and cases wax? Mm. Kind of a cool term. Not really. So Stop like reading. A, if like... If you had an unopened box of 1986 Fleer basketball cards, that's considered wax, and it's probably several hundred thousand dollars. I feel like I should put time and a half for the exact time code of everything you've said on this episode. <laughs> because it's been utter nonsense and a waste of not only Casey's time and Marika's time, whose time is much more valuable than mine, but also mine. And mine doesn't get wasted ever. Um, I'll say coffee as well, I think. <laughs> What's the hardest part about others not being you? Disagreeing with their opinion. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. What's your favorite band's favorite house? Beverly Probably. Hills. <laughs> That's where they want to live. Because my favorite band is Weezer. <laughs> mm. That's them talking about a house. Yeah. Um, probably whatever house they're performing in at the moment. Mm. Um, house of the Rising Sun is my guess. That's nice. good. Nice. What band is that? Uh, Credence. There is a house in New Orleans. Is that, that Credence that Clearwater Revival? Is it? Or is it? No. It's Cream. Casey, do you know the band? I was, I, I, yeah, I think it's either Credence. I keep thinking The, the Doors. Do, the Doors, I was going to say, too. It's not The Doors. But it's funny because the, the doors, doors, but a house. So it's like it should be. Yeah, it nice. should be. Favorite house's favorite band? That one doesn't make sense. Song or long? Is that related or a new question? That's a new question. Song. Song. Yeah, song. Song. Did yeah. you look up who sang that song? Who are you asking? Anybody really. <laughs> oh, it's a song by the animals. Well, I would not have guessed that. I guess one hit wonder? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Unless somebody covered it. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, here we go. If you could sing a duet with Eric von Stroheim, why wouldn't you? Because I don't know who that is. Yeah. He was a director. <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> yeah, you asked why wouldn't you, and you get answered. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep powering through because we're only at 22. Uh, yeah, answer if you want. <laughs> don't answer if you don't. We've gone through all how many? 73. Yes, you have let's, 51 let's more. Not hold him up. <laughs> if you could master one instrument, where would it be? <laughs> There's no way you have 50 more of these. <laughs> Juilliard. If you had no tattoos, when would that happen? <laughs> <laughs> now. Okay. To be or not to be or not to be? To be or not to be. Dogs or rats? Dogs. 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 Bird watching and whale watching or gnaw? 
<laughs> no. You have to do both. Okay. I would bird watch. Best gift you've never received. Amir's answer is going to be love. Unconditional love. <laughs> I was going to say that too. <laughs> Best gift you've never given. Mm. A McDonald's Happy Meal. Nice. Last thing you stole or a friend. A friend. Mm. My friend Jesse. What's your favorite game when you're busy? <laughs> Wordle. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's a good answer. What's your favorite place to visit on a whim slash avails? What's your place favorite place to visit on avails? <laughs> Yeah, so like you you're waiting to hear back about like an enterprise commercial uh-huh. and you're jetting off to Vancouver. Okay. <laughs> and that's your place to favorite place to visit on avails or on a whim. It could be either or and or. <laughs> I can't believe you have 46 more of these. Manhattan. Manhattan's cool. Yeah. What country do you wish never even happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Probably the USSR. (sighs) What's your favorite color for a day? Blue. Purple. Green. Shoes, shirts, or other? Shoes. Shirts. Beach party or impassioned argument? Beach. Beach. Jogging or aerobic exercise? We already asked that one a few weeks ago, Aerobic exercise. Road trip, of course. That's yeah. not a question. That one's a yes or no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Best way to release tension between two former sworn enemies? Group massage. <laughs> <laughs> if you had no superpowers, what would be different? Nothing. What's the weirdest <laughs> sauce in the English language? <gasps> Are these <laughs> riddles? <laughs> <laughs> Chimichurri. In a way, in a way. Jimmy Cherry is good. I say Worcestershire. Mm. What's your favorite flower power? The, the ability to pollinate without any human interaction. Blossom. How was the last time you sighed? <laughs> <laughs> good. It was good. <laughs> Do you like your woodworking? <laughs> Do you really have Absolutely. 73 of these? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when did you write them and how long did it take? It took oh my God. Like 30 minutes. <laughs> it's just stream of conscience. <laughs> yeah. I Do you guess. cock? <laughs> Sometimes. Z-A-U-L-K? Sometimes. Never have. What's your least favorite thing about yourself or not? <laughs> not. Yeah. yeah. Not. Everything. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Lie. Mm. <laughs> uh, I like that I'm not addicted to my phone anymore. Yeah. Are you not or are you lying? He's for sure lying. <laughs> <laughs> On my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Who slash why do you miss most slash Jost? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I'm going to try to strangle him. (laughs) Sorry. Uh, What are you listening to right now in this room? Bullshit. Nice. (laughs) Favorite Snell? Tony. Hitchcock. That's what I was looking looking for. Why was the last time you spoke to someone on the phone? To get a prescription refilled. (laughs) <laughs> You're even bored. <laughs> <laughs> the host I, yawning is a very... You never see that on TV. Like I It must like, happen, right? Like, James Corden has to, like, just be tired one oh, day. Oh, 100%. But, like, you never see a basketball player yawning or a host yawning or, like, a guest yawning. No, Newscaster. yawning. What uh, is that? I slept two and a half hours last night. Where was the last Jesus. person... You, <laughs> sorry. When did you go to bed? What's that? When did you go to sleep? I went to sleep at 4. And you woke up at 6.30? I woke up at 5. Why? To take my friend to the airport. And then she missed her flight. Okay. So I turned back around. But then she was like, no, they got me on a later flight in two hours. So then I turned back around. 
And then I hit rush hour traffic. So I didn't get home until eight. And then I slept another two hours. So you, wait, you dropped her off and then she's like, actually, I have a flight in two hours. Come back to get me. She missed her flight yeah. because of my being late to pick her up. Of course. <laughs> so then you drove back with her away from the airport? I drove her to the airport. Correct. Roughly 15 minutes late. Okay. She misses her flight. The doors closed four minutes before she got to her gate. When was her flight? Uh, 627. Got it. And she got there like around 615. Too late. Yeah. Uh, and so you I'm leave like, the airport Shit. with her. What's that? You leave the airport with her. I or... left after she went inside. Right. And so I'm going back home. Yep. Trying to go get some sleep. It's like 7:30. This is this at this point it's 6:10. Okay. And it's then still she's dark like, out or it's like starting to get light. She's like, I might miss my flight. Okay. And I'm like, okay, well, like I'll obviously come get you if if so. Oh. I just wanted to point out that I yawned. <laughs> Where was the last person you sent a text to? <laughs> I think it was Marika in her apartment. Yeah, you somewhere. I don't know. A sport you wish you could read. <laughs> like, you know how LeBron sort of surveys the court? Like, he can he knows everything that's happening. I guess golf. I'm intrigued about golf after playing top golf. Yeah, we did play top golf in the retreat in Arizona. That was very fun. Um... A hairstyle you know you could pull off, but can sorry. A hairy style you know you can pull <laughs> off. A hairstyle you know you can pull off, but could. Is Harry Styles his like, real name? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fucking Probably awesome. like um, He's the coolest guy in the world. Colors. Did you see the video of him filming a music video in People's House from no? the late show? It's really funny. It's uh I think Ian Carmel probably wrote it. Oh, um, yeah. It's really good. Sunglasses at night or other. 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 Happy endings. The show slash crime. Who? The show. Favorite season within winter? <laughs> the end of winter. <laughs> I almost said cuffing season. <laughs> <laughs> Three people, living or dead, that you would like to dismiss. <laughs> Banish Mark Paul Gosseler. Why or why not? Why uh, not? I would not. Mm. He's a very talented guy. Life is a highway or train station mishaps. How do you know Mark Paul Gosseler? Because Say by the Bell was before you were born, right? I know Screech. Interesting. <laughs> How were he you? He recently born? passed away, right? What's that? He recently passed away. He's gone, yeah. He's dead? Uh, yeah, Dustin I'm pretty Diamond. sure Gosler's gone. Lord. No, Gosler's no. alive. Dustin <laughs> really? died. Yeah, he wasn't Screech. <laughs> he was Zach Morris. I never saw Saved by the Bell. How Me were either. you born and who? I think we got a pass on that. I don't know. What's the closest you've been from home? <laughs> Right yard? Outside my house. Yeah, probably right outside the door <laughs> or in the door frame. Sweet cakes or savory buns? Savory Sweet buns. Cakes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> How many more of these are there? <laughs> There's 10. Okay. Pretty good. Lipstick or oath keeping? Oath keeping. Oath keeping. Yeah, yeah, I don't like lipstick. What book of the Bible have you read over and over and over and over? Revelations. Really? Genesis. <laughs> this is a revelation to me. <laughs> Exodus, because you read it during Movement Passover. Movement of the people. Not sure. What favorite bedtime story as an adult? Mm. I've been trying to read a book a month this year. <laughs> you already said that. <laughs> what would be the title of your memoir? Failure? No. No. Mine would be like avoiding a real job. The mm, Amir Blumenfeld, kind of good, whatever. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Who would play you in a movie, don't choose someone hot? Let's all choose for somebody else because you never truly know what you look like. <laughs> so for Be Jeff, I would choose Ben Kingsley. <laughs> How dope he's, is that? I think he's gone. <laughs> right, he's exactly. for sure Ben alive. Kingsley would be sick. Well, ben, we need ben someone Kingsley's with the wayfish ankles of a man who's passed. 
and who can do brown face <laughs> and get away with it if necessary <laughs> slash ad nauseum <laughs> Casey hmm. who's a Casey like slash looky likey mm. Casey do you consider yourself a redhead yes I, I think Rupert Grint That's are you fun. just oh. saying that because he has red hair what about so, that Gleason kid? Oh, no, you know. Domino? Oh, Damien, Dom, yeah. Domino's uh, fun. Fucking, yeah. what's his name? Damien, not Chazelle, that's the director. Damien, the, from Homeland. Oh, uh, yeah. Damien, uh. uh Hurst? But, Jones? No. <laughs> Lewis. Damien yeah. Lewis. That's good. And now for casting Marika. <laughs> How do we possibly start slash end? Who's a Marika like? Maybe Zoe Kravitz. Mm. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's flattering. I'll take yeah. it. And lastly. Least favorite animal. Wait one second. <laughs> this is Let what... Zoe talk. <laughs> Her name would still be Marika in the movie. Mm. Um, I mean, I think you do look like Chris Christopher Plus. Not to bring it back. I met him once. Yeah, he sent nice. me a photo of you guys next to each other. Nice like, guy, but Celtics fan, so I have to hold mm. that against him. Is he bit. from Boston? Yeah, I think so. Um, least favorite animal that you guys think we should all eat? I, I don't, I don't think there's one. I think we should eat more roosters because all chicken sex is non-consensual. That's why I don't feel bad getting uh, eggs, eggs, <laughs> dregs. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is a good one. Why would you ever write a movie? <laughs> first, first good one. What was it? Why would you ever write a movie? Is that just for Amir? Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone else, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. What's the reason for you to have a platform? Mm. To help other people if nope. people do Another what you yawn, say of course <laughs> the premise isn't there there if people do what you say why would the world be any different people do what you say um if everyone had to do what i say I mean, right off the bat, certain laws would change and things would be different. What laws would you change? I'm genuinely curious. I would get rid of um, certain weapons of mass destruction. Boom. <laughs> Am I a hero for that? <laughs> the world's gone. I mean, you tell me. <laughs> You're not listening to music. What's that? Oh, sorry. I'm listening to a different <laughs> podcast. <laughs> What drug should everyone have to take to deal with Amir? <laughs> I think ecstasy, because you kind of really need to be happy to be around him, because he will still drag you down to a stasis. <laughs> I think stasis <laughs> is where you want to be, right? Yes, like, but if you don't take the ecstasy, he dra drags you down. To a stasis, no, so that's no, good. Without the drug, so you're he saying, drags I'm a you depressant. down to depression. Sorry? I'm a depressant, and you have yeah. to take an anti So you need a stimulant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, desert sunsets or suing head gum? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the first one is yeah. a nice, pleasant experience. The second one will financially ruin me. <laughs> she she um, well, that was vague 73 questions. Thank you guys so much for your in depth answers and not. Um, Let's uh, let's do plugs. Uh, Casey, what do you have going on? What do you want to point the people to? The floor is yours. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Casey Donahue. That's it. How is Top Gun? Oh, Did you see it in spectacle. 4DX? No, I just saw IMAX, but... Uh, was it awesome? I mean, to see those guys fly those planes is really <laughs> something. It really is. Is it better than the original Top Gun, a movie I despise? Um, as a movie, the story is like, whatever, it's just like, it does, but you don't go for the story. You're going to see Tom Cruise fly a plane upside down for real. Mm. Yeah. And, he is uh, fucking that was insane. He does this shit. Yeah. He's a madman. He's a maniac. Right. Yeah. He's a maverick. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> He's a goose. <laughs> um, Marika? Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Marie Galon. Follow Hedgum on TikTok. Yeah, we're almost at 10K followers. I think we're going to get there before huge. the end of the month. One yeah. or two more viral bumps, and I think we should get there. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to plug two things. My Twitter, because I'm also I'm almost at 10,000. That would make me sort of... It's been like that for date, months. Dateable. And the HeadGum YouTube channel, HeadGum Sketches, back every other week. Uh, this comes out, this upcoming... On the 3rd? A, a week from today. This comes out June 3rd. So there's another one coming out June 7th, and we just released one on May 24th. So go check that out, or don't. How did people like the Snacks one, the new one? I think it was a hit. I think it was unequivocally a hit. I didn't see any negative comments other wow. about <laughs> people's appearances or vibes in general. Um, but I'm we're all very young. One. Yeah, we're young. Very and funny. And better since the pandemic. The pandemic uh, didn't basically age us at all. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see you guys again next week. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the HeadGum Podcast. I guess that's Daz, folks. <laughs> uh, sort of, can I uh, ask one last question? Yeah. Um, just curious if you like the vibe of me laying down versus sitting like. Is there something like, should I like lean into that? Or is it like sort of a one-off? You guys didn't really appreciate that. Or you thought it sort of added to the. Yeah, leave, <laughs> leave comments below. The energy, yeah. I personally really liked it. I really wanted to see a mirror on the floor by the like end. Melting. Of, yeah. And I, I posted some screen sh screenshots to Slack. A lot of people wanted you on the floor. So a little okay. disappointing that you a went little, back up. But. A little bore on the floor style. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see what the camera picked up. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's hear the, the what was it? The, that is, that, that's a, that's a dot and dots, folks. Say the catchphrase again. Cause I I'm just going to end it here. <laughs> and it'll end on like a low energy note because of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> was a HeadGum original.